Good evening to you all. I'm Alicia Malone and we have just a few days remaining in our 31 days of Oscar Festival, but there's still plenty more left in the tank. For example, tonight's programming is centred on prison films and up first is a four-time Oscar nominee that cemented Paul Newman as one of the coolest actors of his generation. From 1967, it's Cool Hand Luke. Newman is the Luke of the title, an aloof prisoner sent to serve two years of labour on a chain gang in a southern town. He antagonises his fellow prisoners and the prison guards and soon hatches a plan to break out. This plot came from a novel written by Don Pierce, who had a storied background himself, including serving a stint on a chain gang. He used his experiences to write this book, published in 1965, but although it received strong reviews, it wasn't a smash hit. Director Stuart Rosenberg was a fan, however, and he took the book to Jack Lemmon's production company, which bought it, planning for Lemmon to star. Don Pierce was hired to adapt his work into the screenplay, but since he was an inexperienced screenwriter, Frank Pearson was then hired to take over. After reading the script, Jack Lemmon realised he wasn't right for the part, and around the same time, Paul Newman asked to be cast in it. He hadn't even read the script, saying, This is one of the few roles I've committed myself to on the basis of the original book without seeing a script. It would have worked no matter how many mistakes were made. But ensuring there would be no mistakes, Newman worked hard to prepare for the role, visiting West Virginia to speak to locals and record their accents. The role was demanding, but Newman still enjoyed himself on the set, spending time with his brother Arthur, who had been hired as a unit production manager. I had great fun with that part, Newman later said. I liked that man, meaning Luke. Members of the Academy did also, nominating Newman for Best Actor, his fourth nomination, alongside nominations for Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Music Score and Best Supporting Actor for George Kennedy, which he won. You'll also see familiar faces such as Dennis Hopper, Harry Dean Stanton and Joe Van Fleet in a, in a role that was first offered to Betty Davis. So from 1967, directed by Stuart Rosenberg, this is Cool Hand Luke. What a fantastic film. Cool Hand Luke was nominated for four Academy Awards and won one of them, Best Supporting Actor, for George Kennedy. This was Kennedy's first nomination and he was visibly emotional when he took the stage, his first words being, Oh, I could bust. He thanked director Stuart Rosenberg for giving him the opportunity and the Academy for what he said was the greatest moment of his life. Many years later, when talking about his experience on Cool Hand Luke, George Kennedy said this was the only time to date that he had been one of the two leading stars of a film, that while Paul Newman was definitely the star, Kennedy was right there alongside him, and both he and Newman worked incredibly hard. All right, our TCM 31 Days of Oscar continues with another prison film, this time from 1930, a drama that won Oscars for Best Sound and Best Screenplay for Francis Marion. Back soon. <laughs> 